from actually we'll start it out from side control and then we'll do it from nature after that. So let's go. From here. Like so. I'm gonna put my I wanna basically we're gonna use a Bravo grip, which basically means you you've taken your their lapel out and you fit it through to your hand like so. Alright? Um, and to get that, I'm just going to put my head down next to Craig's uh, shoulder on top of his arm. If I'm just up like this, when I go to take this, he's just going to recover his guard and move his hips. So I need to at least be down nice and tight. Here, I can I can reach back, keep my left knee so it's hard for him to recover, and start to lead this lapel out, like so. When you take the lapel out, pull so there's full tension on the lapel. If you've got it like, like that, and then you feed it through, it's really hard to get it all the way through, and you're going to find hard to get enough uh, to pull through to actually finish your choke. So when you open it, you're going to pull it really hard like that. So again, look here. Keep your head in, reach to the lapel, and we're just going to pull it out nice and straight like that. From here, usually the person will be kind of turned into anyway, which will make it easy. But I want to like, just turn on your shoulder a little bit. So I'm trying to like push here, which gives me plenty of room to feed it through to my other hand, like that. And once I get it in my right hand, I'm going to do the same thing again. I want to like pull until it's like as far under his armpit as possible, because I want it to be loose here, like that. So, all right, now that that's through to there, I'm going to take the end of the lapel like this, and you'll notice your hand can go like past their, their head. We're going to keep the end of the lapel, but actually push it back so it's behind the middle of the head. So you'll see the lapel starts to bend a bit there, and that's what we want, we want a bit of slack there. Okay. And that lets me lift his head up like that. But before we do that, I'm going to pin his arm with my head. Uh, try and get that little here, Craig. It should be hard for him to win that wall. At least you can get it, but it's not going to do much. If I'm up here like this, he starts to, to get a good underhook. Okay, my, I want to get my left hand here so that I can lift his head and feed through into that hand. If, if I try to do that just like this though, as I go to do that, block my hand, <coughs> he starts to block that hand. Or even, I start doing that, he comes under my arm here, like so. So what, what I need to focus on is pinning this whole forearm down flat. Get under that hand now, Craig. Yeah. Uh, as I go to do that though, there's that chance where he blocks it. So I'm going to keep my head on that arm. Try to block it now, Craig. Yeah, does that make sense? My head blocked the arm from intersecting my hand. So my head blocks the arm, I take my hand to here, and I keep the forearm tight. Okay, so I want to grab this lapel. Block my arm now, Craig, or however you would. See what happened? Go under. Okay, now I've blocked the, the arm, it's going to be harder to finish the trick. So, what I did wrong there was I reached through. I'm reaching towards the lapel, and it opens up a gap under my arm. Instead of reaching, I want to pull his head up and get the lapel. Okay, try and get under my arm. Yeah. Again, so, yeah, move it to start. We're going to take the lapel, pull it nice and tight, feed it through to our other hand, and then pull that as tight as you can, like so. Take it back so it's just behind the neck. I keep my head on the arm. I'm going to like lean away and block my forearm in. Once your forearm's flat, you can lift your head. It's you can, it doesn't have to be like on the whole time, just enough that I can get there and I'm, and I'm fine, okay? Then I lift his head up to feed the lapel to my hand. Now I've got the grips like it's a baseball, uh, like we're holding a baseball bat. So my left hand should be palm up, the one that's going to choke, and the other one's palm down. From here, uh, next most common way the person gets out is they hip escape here and turn in. And it's going to be really hard here. Yeah, he gets his knee in. It's hard for me to like run around and, and finish a choke when that happens. So I need to make sure I'm attached to his hip. So we're here like this. I'm going to sort of turn my hips and walk with Craig like that. So you start trying to escape Craig. And I'm following him here like this. When my hips are turned to face his head, that still allows me to step over. So my hips stay next to his. I'm going to step over the top and catch his head with my knee. Like that. Once my head's, my knee's next to his head, I can turn belly, turn, turn to north south, put my head near his hip, and the choke will be on pretty tight. Right. So again, head nice and tight. 
pull the lapel, bend it through to the other hand, and we're going to pull that nice and tight. You can spend a bit of time here, in a pretty stable position. Head goes in, from here, we're going to, you can come with a knee rotor if you feel better, but I'm going to post through my head so I can get my forearm flat, pull his head up, and we feed the lapel to that hand. As long as your elbow doesn't lift you, you're fine. Okay. From here, drop your hips next to the hips. They're going to try and hip escape away. I want you to follow. Step over so you catch the head with your knee. Turn down. Finish your choke. Everyone got that? See one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to get crazy. I'll do this one. Oh, it like my cow. I'm expanding my trip. It's just a full lock on the neck. It's just the same thing. Do you got any aloe vera, Stevie? <laughs> There we go, three, two, right hand's going to block the knee. Going to step to the side, like so. Try and pin that leg and sit my weight. Uh, shit, put my, when you, when you get knee through position, try and put your weight on their legs so they can't hip escape. If your weight's on the ground and they can hip escape away, you lose them. Okay? So try and keep uh, some weight on them and keep your hips close. If I'm here, Greg can get his knee in front or an underhook really easily. When my hips come to the side, it's way harder to try and get that leg in. You can still potentially go for the underhook, but I'm ready to pull that into that. Okay? Alright, so we're going to be in the knee through position. Uh, and then we're going to get a cross face here like this, with Craig holding onto my leg. This one, ah, that's just for knee legs. Yeah, like a half guard. Okay, so we're going to take the lapel out from here, like so. Take it nice and straight, take it through to the other hand. I'm going to basically do the exact same thing here. I'm going to put my head in and show you these arms back. Pull my head in, feed my hand through, like so, plant my elbow, try and get underneath it. So I'm going to go through these details again, guys, so just make sure you're keeping them off. Uh, Jiu Jitsu moves work when you know what's coming next and you're able to stop it, okay? So that's why I'm saying, like, I'll give you a bunch of things where Craig would, could potentially get out and how I try to stop that from happening, because that's how you're going to get it on someone who knows how to defend it. If, you, if it doesn't work on someone who knows how to defend it, there's no point doing the move. Okay, so we're here, uh, sit nice and low on your left hip, but he's, he might have caught your, your leg there. So, as I said, first thing, head's in tight, I'm going to bring my hand in and I pin my elbow down. Don't lift, don't give space there for him to get under. Once he's under my hand, like that, I can't drop my elbow in, which is what chokes him. So I need that to be uh, like flat against his chest here. Don't lift up to feed through, pull, as in don't lift your elbow up, pull his head up to feed the lapel, like that. Once you've got your grips, from here, I'm gonna drop my elbow in and drop my shoulder down, like so. So I'm trying to put my shoulder here. If this kind of stops Craig from turning in too much, so I've still got like some drive in towards him. I can knee slide away and down here, like that. Okay, so I'm trying to stay next to the hip. So we're here, I'll drop my shoulder down, I slide away, but I want to stay next to Craig's hips. If I give a big space here, he gets his legs back in. It's pretty much impossible to finish once their legs have recovered. So, if you keep your hips next to the hips, you're going to try to move away. I can follow that. I can keep my head tight. And it gives me room to step. Step with your knee here like this. Uh, I'm really trying to catch with my knee. I see some people going like here. I reckon here's too... It's hard to like consolidate. There's a bit more space for, for Craig to move. I want to be like pretty much able to put my knees on the mat to finish the choke. So imagine you're trying to put your knee on the mat next to the head. If Craig can escape his head, so if I don't put my knee down properly, yeah, push your head out. I lose it, yeah? So that's another reason why if I step with my foot, sometimes he'll block my knee and his head will come out again. If I step with my, my knee catching here, trying to skip, his head's not getting out, I turn and I can finish. So Craig's that. Alright, so let's go again. Block the hip, block the knee, and we go into knee through position, like so. Cross face, they catch your leg in half go. That's fine. Use your head, free the lapel, pass it to your other hand, like so. Get it nice and, uh, like as much tension out of it as possible, and then come back behind the head. 
Lift your hand up and keep your head there for a moment. So you can feed that forearm in nice and tight. Craig shouldn't be able to get underneath. I lift his head up and I feed it to get the base of the back grip. Palm up, yeah. Drop my elbow in, shoulder down, slide away until my hip hits his hip. From here, I'm staying close to his hips. Step, knee tight. Finish the choke.